before they got a turn on the fifth. Uh, yeah, we've played Horns of the Dragon and Might before, but it's been a long, long time. Bunch of cool spells. We're gonna get rid of Might, and I guess Transfusion, and I guess Kato. We just need early stuff. Hmm. Guiding Touch against Scouts again. Not the best. Ours is the one true light. I'll write my own story. Good job, soldier. Get that three damage in. Yeah, this is not... Yeah, I agree. This is not really the matchup that I want to face. We were able to pull out a win last time against Scouts. But it's not the matchup that I am... wanting. I'll do my best. The question is... Yeah, so I'm not gonna, like, block there and then they just use whatever combat trick and they keep their thing alive. I'll, I'll let me have my combat trick. The question is, is do we play Precious Pet before attacking and let them play, like, Misfortune. That kind of seems like a problem. I think I'll just attack. But then I don't get, like, to draw a card off Pill Cascade. I guess that's even worse. No pray, no pay. Yep, Taric with Pill Cascade. Definitely great. So I could, I could wait. I could save Pill Cascade. And attack here. Unless we just want to attack it. Yeah, I guess we just attack in. If they block with Misfortune, then I guess... I guess we're not going to save Hill Cascade. Whoa, hey. Getting Misfortune um, out of play is very important. Sharp Sight would be what would save Misfortune. I kind of felt like they have Ranger's Resolve. Oh, it's Mega Rain? Okay, we're just going to let Mega Rain happen. Never stop shooting! Beauty and life. I don't really care about open attack. I'm I want to play Tarek this turn and have two mana for Pale Cascade, so I'm not playing gem. They're doing four to me. It's fine. Um, let's see. But I do have two Pale Cascades, so we could play one here. And we keep Tarek alive. Is that going to be open attacking? Forcing their misfortune to block. I have these guiding touches that can heal stuff. We're going to go gem and then pale cascade and then attack. Gem. Now pale cascade. <clears throat> and then copy pale cascade. Never submit. And then I have guiding touch also. Afterwards. Go ahead, you want your misfortune to block? Or you want to take nine? My kind of party. Okay, they're gonna have their misfortune block. We'll kill that. So there we go. I think that worked out well for us. So now, Tarek just needs one more to level up, so one Guiding Touch on a Tarek would also level up Tarek. Oh wow, Blessing of Targon is so good. Oh, Blessing of Targon is so good. Alright, let's see. Who wants to die to a challenger? Precious Pet, you can die. Well, I should have Saboteur die. Keep precious bed. No one's the wiser. Just like hunting thresher geese. Valor. Scouting ahead. The 
Of the mountain. And if if they are able to kill my Tarek through another guiding touch, we just play other Tarek, so it's not the worst. Okay. So we're going to so they're at ten. Wish I had one more man. I guess maybe I shouldn't have played one of these. No, we're fine. Okay, so we have Blessing of Targon and Might. And Shatter that. In position. Blessing of Targon. Attack. Whatever they block, we might. That's far enough. That should be good. These two can't die, they can't take any damage, can't die. GG's. 4 no. These gems aren't just for show. Yeah, Blessing of Targon is just 5 mana back to back. Alright, let's see what, we're, what are we playing against. Tom Kench Trundle. So they're going to be frostbiting my stuff and then trying to eat it with Tom Kench. We're going to get rid of the Broadback Protector, and I'm going to keep the rest of these. Keep the rest of these. I got all of our three mana units. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. I could probably wait till my turn to play the Solari Soldier and have it attacking as a 3 3 instead of a, a 2 2. Alright, never mind. My faith protects Worked me. out. Basically, playing Solari Soldier over um, Gift Giver, thinking that it's just a, a better a better card against aggressive decks early and a little bit better threat. What do you think will be the make it rain nerf? I could see just making it cost an additional yeah, mana and just having it cost three for doing you know, doing damage to three different targets and everything. That, that does feel like it should be a three mana card. Mystical meditation requires concentration. So Mento the Stones could die to like a Mega Rain if they're playing Mega Rain. I'm not really expecting that. But I'd rather it die than um, any of these other cards. Celestial power. Follow the horizon. Over there. So I like getting all these gems to be growing our assembly bots. So my plan here is play assembly bot. Next turn, play another assembly bot, and then have all these things now. Make it rain. Make it rain would be devastating, but I want to get these assembly bots in play right away. Which I could play a gem here and turn this into a 3-2, but I'm going going real greedy. No. I gotta kill that. I guess I gotta have double Mystic Shot to make sure it dies. And there we go, that's why I played double missing shot. This is not easy. Over on the so team. I'm not growing my second assembly bot like I want to. I feel like this is the better play. They are. I'm not really expecting pump cards, but I think they're going to be playing just lots of frostbite stuff. Which obviously they may just have frostbite stuff here, but I'm not really exp expecting them to be able to pump up and kill my Vi. Yep. And of course that's that's okay for us for as far as healing. We we want to be healing. Ooh, I love Bastion. They just passed turn. Maybe I should have let them pass 
pass turn. I am here to help. This one's on the house. You are better than this. I understand. So I could level up Soraka. It's next turn. Wow, that card's great. This thing's a 3-3. Three, three. Maybe I don't. I don't really want to play my other 4 4 uh, assembly bot. Let's talk about your Who's gonna go All right, so they're going to begin level 2 champions. That's how we do it. That can be pretty bad, but we'll see. Just gonna keep bashing for right now. What do they got? Hecarim? Oh, Hecarim's good. Alright, Soraka's Wish. Let's heal these two. Above this Hecarim. Draw a card. That is good. Oh man, Shards of the Mountain to go along with these assembly bots? Where's our Zenith Blade? Where is our Zenith Blade? Oh man. This is gonna get silly. Get eight gems. Let's go. Butcher. I will gem you. That's healing. We draw a card. Take heart. Solari soldier. Um. Now nah, we don't really need to play you. We'll heal you. We'll heal you. I guess I shouldn't, I shouldn't target the Vi, because I need to just spread out the power. So I should probably just be targeting Karma. Just be targeting that all the time. Yeah, it's true. Frostbites. Frostbites are a problem. So we could, yeah, we could pre Bastion for Frostbite protection. Live with purpose. Take heart. Be at peace. Here's the fun part. Eat this. Live with purpose. But with Karma in play, they would still Frostbite anyway because they'd be casting it twice. So I don't think that would really help. Okay, cool. Got Karma out of here. Perhaps they're gonna have, some, they're gonna have to have some good level two champions. Teemo's good. Oh no. That's what I've been wanting to save my Bastion for. Old Thomas. Thomas Kench. 
Yeah, assembly bot's great. Where there's a will, there's a meal. There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. Lulu. Take heart. Live with purpose. We got the War of 1812 assembly bot. I don't know what happened in 1413, but that was probably a cool year also. You're gonna block here. Because mm, I want my mountain goat to die so that I can play my mentor the stones. But I guess I could I could block this with I guess it makes more sense to block it with something that's just gonna kill the Lulu. Um, so that they don't have an additional blocker. See you, Mountain Goat. Alright, there we go. First win, GG's. That's exactly what we want our deck to be doing. Perfect. Perfect first game. Alright, so we are playing over in Ranked for our fifth game. So we do with our Meme Tier Monday decks. Whenever we are 4-0, and we go play the fifth one over in Ranked. And looks like we got Trundle Trindamir for our, uh, for our game here. Hello. Definitely mulliganing single combat, and I think we'll keep the rest. Repose can be pretty important trading up to try to take down something like a trundle. Um, matchup where we probably want Unyielding Spirit. They have like some Frostbite cards and things like that. But we want to try to get larger units and have Unyielding Spirit. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pass and keep Sharp Sight available. We're going to play this Protégé. And so if they have Weirding Stones, I get to Sharp Sight to try to kill it. All right, so they're passing. So I, I probably just pass also so they don't get to ramp. It cost me four damage. But them not ramping on turn three, so now they can't have Trundle on turn four. Slows them down at an entire turn. I think that's worth the four damage. What if Garen's champion spell was on Yielding Spirit? That'd be cool. You're covered. For justice. Ruination? Yeah, shouldn't have played that price steel protector. That was, that was great for them. Yeah, that was great. We fight for one Freljord. See, so yeah, I would like them to attack here. Darn, they did not. I would like the. As I say, I would like them to make that attack. They attack, I use Sharp Sight. They block, I use Sharp Sight. Now I still have Unyielding Spirit up. Now they Vengeance, and I use Unyielding Spirit, and I save it. Let's go. Alright, so we got Unyielding Spirit, Garen. This would have been better if that was the whole thing, if they would have attacked on their turn and I did that. And then it attacked here, so then I would have had leveled up Garen, and I would have had the attack token, but we'll still take this. Raise the banner. Lift our Possibly I should just wait a turn on Bannerman. To see, like, what we draw. <clears throat> yeah, I wish I would have waited a turn on Bannerman. Um, why not play Fiora first? I don't really have a good reason why not to play Fiora first. How do you wield such a clumsy weapon? With justice and honor. I guess I just let that happen. And I'll just unyielding spirit over here as well. While we're at it. We do what oh god! 
Oh, we know that <clears throat> they don't have like the mana to really respond. No, so yeah, this only obliterates followers, not champions. Good bannerman draw. So now I can uh, repost. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's actually take this down to Paradise City. They're at three. Eyes to meet you. Ah! Fall to our oh God. Before they start playing these 08s to block. You got a problem? They have to go Vengeance. Oh, they, they could have Frostbite cards. I don't have frostbite cards, it's annoying. Nothing's tougher than a troll. You sound like a commercial. A car commercial. Nothing's tougher than a troll. Go to and strike. Put some in negative three. That'll do. Alright, that'll do. GG's, 5 and 0. They will no match. So let's see how we do. We're going to go play our 5 games in ranked. That's how we always do. Looks like we're playing against some discard burn with some Teemos for our first matchup. So we're going to mulligan the 4 mana spell and the 6 mana card against the fast aggro deck. It's not my favorite 2 mana card, but we need to keep it... Um, I'm going to replace Shivana also. Basically, my thinking here is we have a, a good amount of four mana cards anyway. I just want I want to try to... Um, like with mulliganing all these other things, like we're going to get something else that's basically like Shivana. Like Screeching Dragon and Shivana are you know, basically the same for this kind of matchup. wanted to see if we could find some earlier cards to go along with them and didn't quite accomplish our goal. Another day in the field. Unfortunately, this... Would have been good to have, like, you know, Free Feather Tracker. Something like that. Okay, so it looks like um, we are not doing good as far as drawing our uh, cheap spells is concerned. So we're going to block. We're going to play our Ranger's Resolve. We need to keep our Bright Steel Protector alive. We don't have anything else going on. It's an unfortunate curve situation going on here. Three five mana cards and a six mana card. So we only have three puff caps left. We already ate two out of you know, the five puff caps on 34 cards. Two of them immediately on the top card. So not having the best luck in, in any case for anything this game. All right, well, there's a Concerted Strike, I suppose. Have to use that. You know, fight Teemo right here, we do that, or we just hold on and take it and get five more Puff Caps and just hold on to the single combat for the Screeching Dragon. I guess I'll just hold on to it for the Screeching Dragon the next turn. We'll kind of see what they do if they... Yeah, they're just casting vision. Okay. 
All right, we'll go ahead and single combat now. Yeah, Vision's pretty awesome with you know with House Spider. That's a really good combination. Consider passing there for a little bit. Shivana. Still at nine. So far, so good. Let's stay alive. More house spiders. We can deal with more house spiders. That's not the scariest. That is the scariest right there. Yep, they're a jinx deck. So we have Shivana and single combat. I'm thinking like single combat right now on the Jinx. The answer is here somewhere. I'll keep our dragon alive at one. We'll grow with the fury here. <laughs> Look at our dragon. I think my dragon has to challenge the battlecaster. Yeah, our dragon's flying. I think we have to challenge the battlecaster. But it did a lot. It has killed four things so far. About to be a fifth for our five mana. That fury, you know, imagine like the, the five mana, five four challenger. It, it's not going to be killing five things. We did here. Suffer my fury. So that's gonna level up Shivana as well. With the dragon dealing eight damage, Shivana dealing four. No, it doesn't look good. I mean the yeah, like they I'm gonna take Spear Inventor is definitely good there, but you know, we just got got too far behind there in the early game. Didn't really do much. For a while, we had a, a pretty poor hand. Our first four turns didn't do nearly enough. Soldiers to me. So that's all I got. Do Pelcast Kading here. Let's see. So block, block, block. Yeah, I think we just do this. I could like try to keep the three two alive. But I think we try to take it the least amount of damage as possible. Man, Draven's biggest fan, not a fan of Draven dying. Yeah, it, I could definitely see it being difficult to enable Radiant Guardian in a deck like this. Oh, that's a great rummage. <laughs> but it, I don't really want to like take a bunch of time to, to play more attackers and let them level up Jinx. But I guess I guess that's not that big of a deal if they level up Jinx or not. Yeah, I guess it's not. Let's okay, never mind. Let's let's go ahead and do it. Let's let's get extra attackers out here. So we already killed one Jinx. This one cannot make like a super mega death. You know, it's not like it's already leveled up and then I have to try to kill it before they empty their hand so they get a super mega death rocket. Right, like them them emptying their hand would just turn this into a 5-4. Which it's harder to strafing strike a 5-4, but it's not 
Possibly. I'm what nightmares fear. So they have to block with Jinx to stay alive. My gun does the talking. Nothing stands in our way. Because these are all gonna be fearsome and so they'll have a Jinx to block. Unfortunately, I can't kill it with the strike beforehand. I could just cast the pill cascade right now and see what we draw. See if we draw. Nah, no matter what we draw, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we could just maybe get another attacker, I guess. Um, yeah, we could maybe get just another fearsome attacker. Oh, one mana short. Missed a chance to run. Let's, um, all right, so their Jinx is gonna die. That's gonna die. So I guess we need to just strafing strike the Daring Poro and kill the Daring Poro. And I'll just do it on the dragon so we heal the dragon too. Okay. Hopefully they draw Jury Rig. We're gonna have to fade a couple of draw steps. We're gonna need them to draw something that's not very good here. And then we're gonna need them to not draw a burn spell. Um, on our way back. Oh, you know, it's still definitely... Ooh, that's a great draw for us. All we have to do is fade one draw step now. Yes! There we go. Um, play the other dragon first. I'm ready. Now where are they? There we go. Here some dragons. Wow. That was a close one. First few turns, I did not think we were going to be winning that game, that's for sure. That was a good win. Okay, good. Not Shadow Isles. Good. Back to Discard Burn. Um, hand isn't, you know, perfect, but it's just four cards. You can't expect four cards to be perfect, but it's pretty, you know, pretty good. We're, we're keeping it. Um, I have my orders. Definitely love it. You know, love having Avalanche. And we got a backup Avalanche. As well. No one's the wiser. The chains, they never All right, we should stop. just play this. The sun got me gold. Man, that's look at this a turn two attack for eleven. Dang. Damn it. Turn two attack for eleven. Don't have to avalanche right now. We're gonna do this. I kind of want the like I want the avalanches to be dealing damage to their champions. Oh, jury rig! Oh, that was a bad attack. All right, they got me. That was a bad attack. At least they don't get to discard jury rig or something. Real bad attack. But it'll work out.
Choo choo! Gotta dress up for this stream. There you go. Gotta get the tie. Get that tie badge. Thank you so much, Choo Choo, our second sub of the day. Ah, the University of Piltover. Such a great card. Um, that's definitely a card that could beat us. You know, like, the the rest of their deck, like, there really isn't anything, like, the, the normal discard aggro that people play, not really scared of anything. But University of Piltover getting three new cards every turn. Yeah, like, they're just going to have, like, random stuff that can be good. So definitely much scarier. Nothing escapes my watch. Yeah, so we'll see if we draw our, our crumble to take down the university. See if the university will crumble. Safeguard our home. Because, like, they're, they're normal things, you know, like your Jinx, like, we're just going to have removal for. Like, they're normal things. Time for the main Not going to matter that much. All right, Avalanche. Hard to run them out of cards when they get four cards a turn. But we could we could do it. Okay, nice vile feast. Yeah, I think that we're still probably favored, but they would have had like a oh no, we are not necessarily favored anymore. <laughs> They would have had like no sh chance before, but now they definitely have a chance. They're going with with my route. I have double landmark. But of course, I still have trundle, so it's all good. See, so yeah, it goes left to right, so University of Piltover happens first, and now they get level 2 champion. That was a poor draw for me. Oh, this thing came out afterwards. That thing doesn't have the vulnerable, so they can block over here. That's fine. They can block my Avro and Sentry. I'll draw a card. I don't really have anything I want to play this turn. Yeah, so the, the landmarks just happen from left to right. Uh, the round start abilities. Light the signal fires. The sun is shining. We should too. It's gonna like eat a vengeance every turn. Too much reason not to play the Weirding Stones. Yeah, they do have infinite value. Five cards every turn. All right, now I get Nothing the Howling of this. All right, leveled up Quinn. Do I Vengeance leveled up Quinn? So it will attack and it'll have Valor challenging the strongest enemy. No, I don't think we need to Vengeance that. I think we can play our own Howling Abyss now. I can do this. I can't kill Boom Crew. Not and ready. Oh, I can't do that. Right, I can't I can't do both of those. Let me just do this. Scout 
Scouting ahead. Put down to nine. It's our time to shine, Balor. I hope this works. Balor! This is a this is the most landmarks I've ever seen in play. I don't think I've ever seen three landmarks in play. Ooh, we got a Teemo. The most powerful champion. Sin. That's annoying. So I don't get to play my other Howling Abyss. Rules are made to be broken. My buildings. Her people. Prepare for anything. So this will level up their jinx. So they'll get to draw an additional card. So they'll draw three from University. They'll get a, a Howling Abyss one. They'll draw an additional card here. And now they draw their card for turn. Now it's a party. Our sun will not set today. All right, sorry, Timo. You did great. Plan on going Avalanche, but I guess we're doing this. Oh, you're all so cute. <laughs> all right, that's not the best one. Screaming helps, not at all. Yeah, they've had a definitely they've had a good Howling Abyss for sure. Okay, maybe that one is the best one. I don't think I don't think I can even make that block. I don't think I can risk them just having a two damage source. Yeah, they get excited and killing my trundle. They get so many cards. Okay. Hopefully we get something cheap. It's not necessarily cheap. Back at the table. Yeah, now we're playing Twisted Fate Swain. So Swain will just give me blue card. It's probably better to go Withering Whale. I guess I can Withering Whale the next turn. I want to get to red card. Hmm. Guess we'll just get blue card. So Draw a new card. Kill this Jinx that's killing me. With it, you know, like that was a Jinx's get excited, for example. Excuse me. All right, so we're not beholding an A plus cost card. I'll knock him dead. Um. Hopefully they can't use the five one and team up. And kill Trundle. I guess if they block with the 5 1. Oh, they got a Vengeance? I've never gotten a Vengeance off the University. Oh, vengeance is the best card. What does he want from me? In. Yeah. 
This is why University is awesome, because like normal discard burn would have had no chance whatsoever in this game. But they have had quite a chance because of the their university. First one's free. Nothing escapes my watch. Ready the torches. So I don't think the Howling Abyss counts as a spell for Lee Sin. Oh man. That puts me down to one. They just keep on creating suit ups. No refunds. These suit ups are awesome. I can't I cannot crumble. I don't have an ally out here. I can't crumble the university. Um the few for the men. We get a spell to go along with Lee Sin. Catalyst of Aeons, that's not bad. Master yourself. Master your enemy. So if they try to just get excited me, we have Catalyst. And then Challenge. Yeah, I'm not I'm not killing these things that crumble. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It's another blocker. That's a great blocker too. For Swain. And their university has been fantastic. The cars they've been getting. I'm not sure if I need to just go Catalyst right now. Catalyst challenge. Can I play like Jinx? Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Yeah, like Jinx, Avaros, and Sentry. And hope they don't kill me and have Catalyst for next turn. Yeah, I guess I it's gonna be Catalyst that. challenge. Witness, enter your field. Maybe you need a closer look. I want to get that Jinx in play. I have my orders. Come on, they're still playing more things? Man, their university has been incredible. Could have had you last turn, Vi. <laughs> you would have won the game for us. You lack discipline. I will not hold back. Down to two. If I would have gone Jinx Sentry last turn, then I could have gone Catalyst. You know, I would have had more blockers here, and would have been able to have a Catalyst and. Would have had more life. Let's be down to one. Damn it. I just gotta hope they don't have burn. Gotta hope they don't have burn. Their vibe will kill them. Of course I'm ready. Ooh. Gonna play that first. Alright, no burn, no burn. No burn. <laughs> mm. We didn't draw, you know, Withering Will or you know any of our We didn't draw any life gain cards. Would have been nice, you know, like Withering Will, Catalyst, Grasp. Um. That puts him down to two. I'm not dead, but I got Katarina. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall. Eyes to meet you. If they could have killed me, I assume they would have just killed me. Never. <laughs> it's just 
just all level 2 champions. Everywhere. This is the craziest game. GG's. Dang. That was tough. That university... If you're ever doubting that University of Piltover, I know some people doubt that card.